Hey Gleras, Mama Gamers here and welcome back to another video. Today's video we are talking about a brand we mentioned quite often on this channel actually. It is none other than the French luxury brand Gala. So, for all of you who do not know, we reviewed, I think, the Real Gold Primer, the Meteorite Pearls, the Eau de Beauté, which was this Nicella water, and I think that was it with the reviews on this channel. But I do use a lot of their products off camera. I always got a lot, a lot, a lot of compliments from you guys when I wore this specific lipstick that we are wearing today. The Rouge Je de Guerle in 099. You know, Mama Glamorous, sometimes we love to be bougie. It happened again. We decided to buy another Guerle product, this time covered in all over Swarovski crystals and gold. We love gold. And this is a totally new formula, which is basically like a sheer shine, very, very beautiful, gem-inspired design. And I just never really heard a big beauty guru or influencer talking about the lipsticks. I never heard someone really calling them their essentials or a must-have. And I think today we're gonna talk about why that's the reason and we're gonna have a little history lesson about lipsticks in general because I uh, mentioned this before in one video I think. Guerle was the first ever brand making lipsticks portable. We're gonna talk about um, that in a second. But generally we're also gonna talk about the lipsticks of Guerle and why I think they are underrated. I truly want to be honest. So if you are interested, please keep on watching. If you are a seasoned subscriber on my channel, you probably have seen the first design of this. This metal case moment is legendary. And I think for every beauty lover, a must have. I mean, there are a lot of different kind of Gerla lipsticks, but we are talking about in particular this Rouge G, Rouge G de Gerla. So I think your most iconic piece. The special thing about this is, I, it's hard actually. It's hard. What is the special thing? What is the one special thing? There are a lot of special things about this product, but basically, this is a two piece product. So we have the lipsticks. This one is 007 out of the new Sheer Shine collection. The second part of this iconic two set piece is the lipstick case which doubles as a mirror, a two-sided mirror. One of the most fashionable accessories that is practically makeup. You see, you just open it up and it springs open, so it's a very, very simple mechanism. I slay. It feels so heavy and luxurious. Even the regular ones, like those, it's hard plastic, but it does not look cheap or anything like that. So they are like very, very luxurious. It is kind of an obligation, I think, when you buy one of those lipsticks that you have to buy those cases, otherwise it would look very stupid just having one of those in your pocket. And they are pricey. They really are pricey. I can't really tell you the exact price because it depends on the finish from time to time. So if it's satin, matte or sheer shine. It also really depends on the cases because this one was way more expensive than this one. It also depends on where you buy them, obviously. I purchased this one at a beauty convention, I think we all remember it, with the beautiful picture and the gift. And it was a special offer for 55 euros. This one was a bit more pricey, it was around 65 euros. But it was because of this Swarovski crystal moment. I would say if you pay around 28 to 34 euros for the lipstick itself, it's 
the normal pricing and for the cases somewhere between 20 to 30 would be acceptable. So that you're around 50 to 60 euros. They last you for a long time. I have this over half a year now and there's still a lot here, you know. Despite the fact that you need more than one swipe to get full coverage moment. So they are not the most opaque ones by just one swipe. But that really comes due to the fact that they are, in my opinion, and reading the ingredients, they also share the same opinion with me. More of a lip balm hybrid with a lipstick than a traditional lipstick. Especially the um, Sheer Shine one in the Swarovski Crystal case. They really feel like a lip balm moment on the lips. They are infused with hyaluronic acid and other very smoothing and just pleasant to wear ingredients in those lipsticks. And that's the reason why I think for a day-to-day -day base, especially the Sheer Shine would be a very good choice. And I said I'm gonna give you a little history lesson and I think we're just gonna include it right here, right now. So Guerlain was founded in 1828 which is real old, it's nearly 200 years. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have an amazing event when it becomes 200 years old and I can't wait for that. They were the first to make lipsticks portable by putting them into something that's kind of similar of those products, but obviously not that luxurious and not that Swarovski crystal bedazzled. They obviously did not invent lipsticks because I think Cleopatra already used lipsticks way before Jesus Christ. But that's one of the reasons why Guerle is so iconic in the makeup game. Because they literally created the lipstick that we know today. They really are quite well known for revolutionary techniques when it comes to their products. I mean their illuminating pearls, their maturity pearls were revolutionary in the pearl form. You know, you know what I'm talking about. If not, check out my video. And now they are, I think, imitated by a couple of cosmetic brands like Gosh Cosmetics, I think they are trying to jump on the pearl train. And something is around that long, you know you're gonna pay for the name. I mean, it's the same with designer brands. You are paying for the name, obviously. I mean, you can't really tell me that, like, you know, you know, I'm honest, like 100% honest. Amazing packaging, amazing quality. In general, very, very luxurious. But you can tell me that this is worth over 60 euros. You just can't. You know, like it's it's still a lipstick, it's still a case, it's beautiful, it's bedazzling for roasting crystals, but you just can't tell me that. You know, so obviously you pay for the brand's name, but I mean, but sometimes you have to ask the question if you want to splurge on something, and you know, you're on my channel, we love to splurge. What also makes the experience of the Rouge Chi de Guerle, so unique is the fragrance. And no, I am not talking Huda Beauty straight up fragrance perfume in your face moment. I am talking a very, very pleasant floralish, vanilla ish moment. They have like a whole description of the fragrance on their online site. The fragrance is very subtle. It's not in your face. Making the product feel a lot more Guerle DNA-ish just because the house started off as a fragrance house and not as a makeup brand, you know? And I totally get it. Fragrance in cosmetics are very debatable. I for myself try to avoid them, but then I always find myself buying the heavily fragrance products. I'm just a very big fan of fragrance. And you know that each and every product I literally show on this channel, I stick into my nostrils at a certain point. So it's just kind of important for me. And
and despite the fact that it's a known irritant and it ages you over time, which we hate, those lipsticks, they're just amazing. Like, I really love them and I can't wait to check out the satin finish. Didn't try them out, unfortunately, but the next time there's a big, you know, sale going on, I'm gonna have to check them out. I am not quite sure how this video is turning out. Um, I, I, I see that I'm talking half an hour, so... I hope we're gonna edit out a lot of this. The real reason why I think I actually really did this video is guessing why the brand is not as popular as I think it should be because they're like, they're real good. I mean, you know, they're traditional lipsticks. Do they stay on the whole day? No, they do not. Are they suitable for eating oily food? No, they are not. Are they suitable for a making out session with your sugar daddy? Because I don't know how otherwise you should buy them. It's just a prank. There are always some special offers. But, you know, they are not. So, I just guess that in general, and especially in the YouTube community, most people do prefer, you know, more affordable products than luxury products. And you can't tell me that a Swarovski Crystal Bedazzled Lipstick Case is anything else than luxury. Come on! All in all, I just think that the reason why the Gallo lipsticks are not as popular as I really want them to be is they are very pricey and despite the very luxurious idea and feeling they are just a traditional lipstick you know they are non very I mean they are an innovative formula in regards of skincare but they are not an innovative formula in regards of wear time you know they do not stick on your lips and don't dry you out they do not I could literally swipe over here and I think I could remove some of it you know a traditional lipstick with a lot of luxury touches but I guess that's not enough for a lot of influencers to talk about those which is sad I think because Gerle again is one of the brands we have to kind of give credit not kind of we have to give credit that we are able to actually use lipstick the way we are using it today so for me and this is actually one of the main reasons how I tell myself that it's fine to spend 60 euros on a lipstick is that that's history I am a very big fan of history and you know, I am very new in the makeup community in general, if you wanna call it that way, I guess. And it's always very important for me in general to know your roots, to know your descendants, you know. And this is, if you wanna call it that way, in a very, very rude way, the grandma of all modern lipsticks. You are able to choose your packaging, choose your color to combine them, you know, I don't think that this is really necessary to tell you. You can fit them to your uh, clothing, to your handbag, to whatever. But basically this was not the way how it was in the beginning, I just want to clarify that because in the Meteority Pearls video I um, did not really make it clear um, that the Meteority Pearls are not the first product of Guerlain and the clickbait title didn't help with that. Just to avoid any controversies, I do not state that this was how they were created. I just say that that's how the legacy of lipstick creation is carried in modern times. That was very well said, I think. And this is the way we're gonna end this video. So Glamorous, if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell to get notified when I post a new video, which is normally every Saturday at 12 p.m. Central European time, but we are also uploading on Wednesdays Central European time too. Please let me know if you have heard about 
those lipsticks if you own one of those, if you would love to try some of those out. Again, three different finishes. You can choose the packaging, like there are so many beautiful packages. They deliver a whole different aesthetic. And I think that's like so cute. Like I just, I love them. They are my lipstick babies and I'm so proud of them. You know, sometimes you just need this extra little bougie moment. Yes. Glamorous, I hope we're gonna see us in the next video. Until then, I wish you all the luck. Mwah. Bye, Glamorous.